everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a happy, healthy, and productive day today. So in today's video, we're going to be recreating this look using just one clean beauty makeup brand and it's by Well People. So I stumbled across Well People when I started transitioning from conventional makeup into clean beauty makeup. I was at Target, I was looking for a foundation and I happened to find one on sale and it was a narcissist foundation stick and I absolutely fell in love with it and it just um, inspired me to continue trying other products that they have on the market as well. So just a little bit about Well People, they are plant-based, organic, sustainable, they claim to work pretty similar to conventional makeup given their formulas with nutrient-based botanicals and other improving agents that do improve your skin over time. Well People is non-toxic, they are cruelty free and the, for the most part they try to remain vegan some other products are not vegan and that's because they contain beeswax in some of them and in other ones i believe carmines they are cruelty free so it's just one of those brands that you have nothing to worry about when applying on your face topically and of course seeping into your pores and going inside of your body i will be recreating this look which is a very peachy bronzy look so i really hope you enjoy don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let's get started so i have nothing on my face my skin is pretty clean uh and the only thing i have on my face is the juice beauty oil free moisturizer i've been using this for a long time 100 percent pure mattifying primer i talked about this in my march favorites and i've been using this product for a while narcissist foundation stick in the color dark neutral i love that it just glides on so effortlessly and it doesn't cling on to dry patches especially in the winter time i just love how it melts right into the skin it's literally like butter it goes on like butter and it and it blends in so nicely I also have been using their BioCorrect Concealer and I am in the color Medium. It's a little tube, it's a little dirty, but I mean, it's clean. It's just obviously it came out the last couple of days that I've been using it, but it just, it's a little squeezy tube. So I just use the same applicator and I just put a little bit right underneath my eyes. I don't really have dark circles, but I love to brighten that area and then on the sides of my mouth and underneath my nose, a little bit on the forehead, just a highlight and a little on the chin. And then I just dab, dab, dab and blend, blend, blend. This is a concealer that a little bit goes a very long way. I didn't think that it was in there. In the beginning, I used to just put on a significant amount, I guess I would say, and it caked on my face. It looked very, very cakey, and it started to almost move around, and I didn't like that. So if you see, I only added a little bit, and a little bit goes a long way. If you don't have dark circles, a tiny bit is perfect. If you do have them, then this concealer is great because it will cover them. So that's that. So from Well People, I also have their Biobase Baked Brightener and it's in the shade number one, Universal Glow. I've been using it for my under eye and it works pretty great. It's really light on my skin. See how white that is? I mean, it's gonna pop up on my skin right away because like I said, I'm medium to dark complexion, but it's been really nice on underneath my eye to set the concealer. I've taken tons of pictures for Instagram and it has not caused any flashback at all. Look at these brows. I have not gotten them done since my school closed March 13th. So I don't think I've gotten them done since the last week of February. I've gotten them done here at home. I'll link a video down below where I show how to groom and shape your eyebrows at home. But I usually always, no, not usually, always get them threaded. But I have not just because we've been in quarantine and they've been closed. But now that they're open, I think I'm going to go tomorrow. This is great for setting your under eye concealer. 
sometimes the concealer tends to crease a little bit right underneath the eye but this does such a good job at controlling that and it's worked fantastic on me so i love this product I used to use my eyeshadow to fill them in. I would use like a brown mix with a little bit of black. And then I saw that this PYT eyebrow pencil had such great reviews and I decided to give it a try. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it on camera, but I'm gonna do it here on my mirror. Okay, so I filled in my brows. The High Vibrations three-piece cheek palette and they're all creams. So this here is Petal, Goddess, and Cosmic. So this is a highlight, and these two are the cheeky colors. All right, so I'm just cleaning my hands. I've always heard that using a cream blush really does stay on longer on the skin. Oh my gosh, I think I love this because it's not only orangey, but it also has a sheen to it. And I really like that for the summer. It just gives it that like natural, like a sun-kissed look, and I really like that. I don't have a tan yet. I get really dark in the summer. And what I've noticed too is that the foundation sets matte. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the foundation does set matte and so it's not moving around. So as I'm pressing and dabbing in the, the blush, it's not moving around. So what I like to do is just take the beauty blender and make sure I press that in because I like it to be very seamless. I don't like that separation of the blush, like a line on your skin, on my cheek. So I like to dab it in and just make it all very, very seamless. I didn't get to find their bronzer at Target. They didn't have it. I'm using my 100% pure baked bronzer in the shade Coco Kissed. From the palette, I'm going to use Cosmic. I don't know. I kind of want to add a little bit more of... What is it called? Goddess. First of all, I love the name. I want to add a little more and then take my beauty blender and blend it. So nice. I cleaned my finger and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dab my finger in Cosmic. They're so soft and it really does blend in like butter. So this is a color. I'll put it on my hand. So it's almost like a champagne color. It's definitely not gold, which I love gold. I really do. I used to use the, I still haven't, I haven't gotten rid of it. The Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. I love it. It's definitely a champagne. And I also used to love the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I still have it because I am in the hunt for one. And the one that I do want to try is from Ilia. And it's the... I'll insert the name below. They're fairly new and I really want to try that one. And I always like to add it right up here. So I'm not moving the product around. I'm just bouncing it on my skin up and down, up and down. Like a wet look, that's what it, that's what it feels like and it looks like on me like it's wet, like I have been sun-kissed, like I've been at the beach, and then you come out and you just have that rosy cheek look. That's what it looks like. I really like it. You can intensify it, it seems like. Like obviously the more you add, the 
more of, a, of an effect it has. See how it gives it like that wet look? You can build it up so you can make it pretty intense or just very subtle. So for eyes, I'm going to use Goddess again and I'm going to take it on the same finger and dab it on my eyelid. I did add a little bit of concealer on my eyelid and then I did use the powder, the Universal Glow Powder, just to set it. Take a flat brush and I'm going to put, oh yeah, much better. My fluffy brush and this one is from TJ Maxx. I don't even have the, the name anymore. So I'm gonna take my bronzer and I'm going to warm up the color. I'm gonna put some at the bottom lash line as well. So I am actually on the hunt also for an eyeshadow palette and I might get the Ilia, the warm palette. So I use the highlight on my brow bones, my tear ducts, my cheekbones. I'm going to make my eyeliner a little baby wink. I just love the brown because it intensifies the warmth of the browns and the peach with this look. Eyeliner in brown. I'm going to link the exact name at the bottom because I threw away the packaging. So I'm going to list it down below. So this is definitely in a brown. So I just did my eyeliner and a little baby wing at the end. And now I'm going to do the other eye. And what's great about it is since I use it for my top eyeliner, it doesn't tug on my eye at all. I don't know if it doesn't tug because I have eyeshadow and it's cream. And the last eyeshadow that I used, last time I used it, I had eye cream shadow as well. So I don't know if it would tug had I not had um, cream eyeshadow because obviously when you glide it on, it goes so it goes on so effortlessly. So I'm not sure if that's the reason why. But I love it so far because I use it on my waterline, on my bottom waterline, and I love it. It doesn't smudge anywhere. I have to check if it's waterproof actually, but I'll have it all in, linked down below. My brush. And I'm going to smoke it out. So for the summer, I like to do it very minimally because I always like my lips to pop. Bright oranges, peaches, that's what I like. This is the Well People mascara and this is in black. Well People, yep, it's in black. I heard great things about this. Every review that I read in tutorial, this was one of their top five favorite mascaras. I'm really excited to try this and I said this one's black. The Dolfa brush is when it seems like they're going to separate the eyelashes pretty well. So let's see. Okay, so verdict. My right eyelashes are much, much curlier than my left. Oh, my right curls immediately and they are a bit longer. And I have to say, I love this mascara. Look at how long they look. My eyelashes are pretty long. They're just very light in color. So you can't tell if they're curly or long because they're light. Look at the length that it gives. It did a really good job with separating them. There's no clumpiness there. And I really like it. It's really pretty. I really enjoy this mascara. So this is definitely going to be my go-to once I am done with both of them because I, I already opened the Well People. So once I finish the 100% Pure, this is gonna be the one that I purchase along with other ones that I wanna try on too. Okay, so my last two products, I'm gonna try them both. These are the Nudist Lip Butter, and I have the color Nude, and I have the color Afterglow. So Afterglow is a little bit more orangey. It looked on the model online, and the model actually was the same complexion as me. So Afterglow looked very, very orangey on her, and I'm like, yep, I love it. But then at the store, I looked at it, and Afterglow looked pinky nude and nude looked orange. I'll show you. 
So the RNG one here is nude and this one is afterglow. And this is the one that I saw on the girl and it looked orangey, but it's the opposite. So I'm like, nope, I have to get both. So I'm gonna try on both to see what they look like. And I don't have anything on my lips anymore. So I'm going to first try afterglow because that's the one that I'm really curious about. And it comes up, but it doesn't come back down again. Maybe you're not supposed to, I'm not sure. I'm gonna push it down. But I'm gonna try this one first. And like I said, it's like a regular little lipstick uh, tube. Okay, so this is what Afterglow looks like. And I have to say, I'm so surprised. It definitely looks exactly like it did on the, on the model. It's a very copper, yeah, it's like a copper color, like a copper peach with like peach undertones. But the color underneath is so deceiving. This color does definitely looks like this one. I mean, it's the same thing. But this is definitely a copper peachy color. And it matches very well with the eyeshadow. I'm going to try on the other one to see what it looks like. But so far, I think I would go with this one. Let's see. I have to say the packaging is difficult because once you open it doesn't come back down again so i'm afraid if i put the cap it's going to get ruined but anyway this is a color nude and i'm going to shut the light off so you can see so it's very it's like a very pinky nude i would say it's definitely not coral and i'm going to use what i knew was my favorite orange so this is what it looks like you can see the color is so perfect and copper and it matches very well with the eyeshadow, with the bronzer. The highlight is very subtle and it just blends in so nicely with the coral cheeks. It just matches very well with the lips. And this is like my go-to lip color. I love it. So yeah, this is my final look. I really like it. This is definitely going to be one of my go-tos for the summer, especially when you have a tan, it's gonna look great. I would even intensify the highlight even more just because I love it more personally. And I would add a little bit more to the inner corner, but it looks great. I really do love it. And I hope you enjoyed. Give well people a try and transition slowly. If you are planning to transition into clean beauty, do your research and most importantly, just do your research on what it is that you're putting on your skin and also putting in your body. The cleaner the product, the better. So do your research and thank you so much for doing your makeup with me. I hope you enjoyed and let comment below if you decided to try any of these products. Take care. Bye.